The Sarasota Memorial is launching a new health program designed to undo the effects of heart disease. It's a lifestyle approach based on years of research. SNN's Grant Boxleitner joins us live in the newsroom with more. Grant? That's right, John. If the program is done right, it's supposed to prevent surgery and formal medication. And patients are lining up to start. Sue Pryor Bell says she was at a spring baseball game when something didn't feel right. And decided I need to go to the hospital there. Had, was having a heart attack and had two stints. Pryor Bell is starting a new program at Sarasota Memorial Healthcare System designed to undo the effects of heart disease without costly medications and surgery. The Dr. Dean Ornish Reversal Program is a lifestyle approach using intense cardio rehab exercise with a physiologist along with meditation and yoga. But that's not all. So add stress management and group support. And those four combined together is what's really been shown to reverse heart disease. During the program, the patients are shown a group of foods that appear to be healthy, but are not part of Hornish's diet program. The diet really focuses on plant-based whole foods. I think I need to get my nutrition, which is his um, big push. Patients enroll in a nine-week program, learning the tools to help stay heart healthy. Kelly Batista oversees the program. Ask. Because this program has proven research behind it to reverse heart disease and the effects of heart disease, it's been uh, supported by Medicare. So Medicare pays for this program as well as a few other commercial insurers. Prior Bell is hopeful this is what her heart needs. How to focus on getting my health in order. Reporting in Sarasota County, Grant Boxleitner, SMN Suncoast News Network. The first nine-week session of the Ornish Reversal Program begins in January at SMH. John? And how does this uh, support aspect work? Well, patients go through the program with 12 to 15 people who share this commitment to being healthy and have similar problems, and that can really help people stay on track, John. I may have to get in that line you talked about at the beginning of this report. <laughs> Thanks, Grant. 